Jealousy that we talked a bit about, and that's he also does have the blacklist, and of course Eric is running those heat breakers, so he's gonna have to respect that a bunch. As Dean ripples through his hand, is this a keepable hand to you? Uh, what does he got there? It looks actually pretty good. He has uh, Max Jeeves. Jeeves. He has a food, but he does G have a yeah. Jeeves. GFI Jackson. Uh, he does have a turtle, so that's a fairly good econ opening. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be hard to uh, to to stop that. And that's the fist, yep. and we're off. It looks like they might both be keeping. Um, funny enough, so there is one best defense in Dean's list. That <laughs> yeah. is the kind of the anarch self hurt uh, hate, and mm. it's not going to do much. I think it's not it does, against this valve. I think it does hurt uh, Street Peddler. That's probably yeah, it. That's probably. And if you trash three cards, actually, for, that's definitely it. That's, yeah. that's not bad at yeah. all. I don't actually think we're running same old thing in this one. Mm. A surprise peddler. Uh, oh, we got two mining accidents. <laughs> oh, value bad pub. It's not bad. Yeah, it's you're an right. easy you're opening. Right. You're right. And there we go, and we're off. So uh, if you haven't seen, this is like a very pretty basic deck. Wants to get some fast advance. It has austerity policy. He actually might be clicking. Yeah, that. he does actually. So Eric right. is going to have three, three click clicks. first turn. Three clicks first turn, and I don't actually know if that's something you have to deal with. Mm. I think this is like the very first time this has happened to Eric, but um, he's gonna run that austerity policy almost certainly. Like, yeah, you need to keep that down. You need to keep because it can be iced up next turn, and then there's a fast and then and coming. then really there, yeah, your game is almost over. From that. Click one, or right, click so let's see if you remember. Done. Only has three clicks. Yeah. Um, so the gamble's coming out, that's a good start. With Val, I believe that was Sturdy Palsy, still three oh, credits. Oh, Sunghost, uh, Sunghost, oh, there we stepping go. in. <laughs> yeah, there it is. So I still think he has three, um, what is it, three credits with a bad pup to trash that austerity policy? I think Correct. it might be four. Uh, the austerity policy, I think it's, it's four or three. three. So we'll find out, we'll get the, that overlay up, and we're going to need a single axis on HQ. There is one agenda in there. He might be running a central server here to get the, the mining axis online. Access, I think it almost in hand. Yep, there it is. And there, we have a yeah, choice there. So uh, Dean can either lose five credits, which is probably be a lot, or remove that from the game and give a bad pop. It's going to be removed from the game regardless. I still don't think this is great because if Dean finds a piece of ice, then that and it's going to be an yeah. issue. Yeah. Uh, so we got two bad pub there. I think we have Sungo's helpful hands. Oh man, he's going to be running everything. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, okay, so three clicks here. generally. And uh, Dean is going to have a bit of a hard decision here. And there's the mining accident. So Jackson's going to come up, try and find some ice. He might actually not have the time to click that... Uh, that austerity policy. Click that austerity policy. Yeah. Because it is a bit of a temple loss. You want to be set up before you're really hitting that. You want to also cover that with a piece of ice. Mm -hmm. Because this Val is actually in some ways superior to Wizard. Because mm -hmm. Wizard has three recurring oh. credits to trash. But um, uh, these are two recurring credits every run. Every run. And you can use them for breakers, you can use them for anything else, but two really, whatever you credits, want, yeah. yeah, if you trash two cards, that's better than Wizard. And that's a lot of value. Yeah. yeah. So that's going. Uh, Jackson uh, Have you installed. checked on Eric's uh, credit pool? I don't think he paid for the mining accidents, according to chat. Yeah, he did not. It should be two credits less. Yes. Or fewer. And it looks like Eric is just drawn up there, uh, looking for something, leaving the austerity on the table. And the Street Brothers coming out. I believe that's on down on the table. Oh, those are the three cards, so he's not actually drawing. Yeah. So he has some choices there. Uh, the Desperado is also a card he really wants to find early, because again, Desperado, too bad, Bob. You're in a really good you spot. You're in a great spot. You can trash almost anything that yeah. the Corp comes out. Gratis. Uh, the only exception is being Turtlebacks for one. Yep. Uh, Daily Business for one. Yeah, that's technically. Oh, and Jeeves for, Jeeves for two. Yeah. Jeeves for two can be uh, yeah, something. Something, and but I mean, that's far less than what a lot of other people have to pay. So there we got the money fixed for the for the mining. That actually cost two to install, so that'll be fixed up. Um, and I think he also might be digging for uh, also assaults at slums. It's a one of in the deck. But for if sure. you can find that, it really turns off friends in high places yeah, in a really meaningful way. In a 50 card deck, of course, a little bit harder than it normally would be. But yes. Yes. there's some value here. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, he has two mining accident, not three. So if he can get another one down again, it's in such a good spot. Uh, two credits is a bit of a tempo hit, but it's really not that bad. And single axis there. That's the Jeeves. That's a three credit trash at this point. Does he do it? I think also at this point you might just want to use the street peddler to install a card for cheap if you're not trashing the uh -huh. Jeeves. Use your bad pub. You get a lot of value in that. In fact, that is what he's digging into. Nope, he decides against it. So no one installs. You were, yeah, you yeah. definitely want to do that in the run. Yeah. And he's going to keep drawing up. So the austerity wasn't clicked. Uh, Daily Cast is going to give some money during a time. I'm excited to see what's on that street peddler if he didn't use it right away. For sure. Uh, it could have been a bad peddler. Yeah. Only, only really trading could also in the be things like Parasite that you don't have, actually have a use for. Indeed. Uh, Parasite has some value in this deck. Actually, not a lot. Like, you can hit the Vanillas, but the Architect doesn't work. Fairchild yeah. is kind of a hard Parasite. It's a hard Parasite. And... Uh, Oh, and you know, that's the best that. defense. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good snipe. The one There's snipe. That single. So he got a big on that, and he lost... An Almakua? 
Oh, we can't really see what that is. That looks like a blue card. Rumor mill. That looks like a blue card. Amakua, he lost an Amakua uh, and a film, film credit. credit and a rumor mill. Yeah. So he could have installed that Amakua oh, he for, for one. one. Credit? Yeah, and in fact, that's a huge oh, miss for opportunity. Free, for free. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, you're right. Because they're the bad pedal. And he would have yeah, got yeah. a token on it. So that's really unfortunate. Yep. It looks like Dean's going all in on that uh, MCS Oh, yeah. Uh, so he, that is a fair point. You can't use BP to install after you see the card. Oh, after you see the card. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You don't have another pay to win. You can't do it after. Mm -hmm. uh, totally true. Um, so uh, the credits are coming in from the daily cast, and losing the Amaku is probably not that important. He has other breakers. It's definitely a sweet card, and specifically in this matchup, it's very, very good. Yeah. Especially if you have things like Desperado. Precisely down. that, yeah. Um, exactly with Desperado, and exactly, like, you're just picking up incidental power counters on it, right? Yeah. Or viruses. And that tech card specifically, if you want to call it that, that best defense was largely <laughs> response to the fear of uh, Bookmark, Fanatis Armory, those sort of decks. I believe so, yes. Um, so that's not actually like a hard street peddler hate, but you'll take no. the value when you Yeah, you'll take it when you see it. Trashing three cards is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think um, it doesn't normally hit anything out of Andy, yeah? Uh, out of Andy, you can hit same old things sometimes. Aeneas, oh, yeah. if you want to, if you have All right, the temple, yes, you can the go temple. for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's honestly not too bad. That's fair. And another turtle's coming back, and uh, Dean doesn't have the moons just yet, so keeping the economy down, being honest with the turtles, because if you don't have turtles, actually playing uh, Friends in High Places can be kind of a tempo. Yeah, game. it's pretty expensive, two and credits, but I mean, of course, I say expensive relatively. Yep. And they're coming back, the austerity, and the, the turtles, the austerity always kind of getting to the point where it can be scary that plus the current that's not a lot of time you have to deal with mm -hmm. things yeah he's going to get compressed very soon we're going to see a very thin Valencia so what console is actually Val running like this seems Desperado, like a good yeah. mod oh yeah Desperado of course um, and we haven't seen any uh, mod at this top table this does seem like a very good mod deck yeah, it'll be a very very strong mod deck if I'm not mistaken that might actually be an iPad worse if he's drawing uh, maybe we missed that one no he's, he's, he's playing it to draw I believe and I might be mistaken. I feel like I saw an archive interface, but that might no, be incorrect. No, not in this one. Okay, that's a shame. Yeah, that would have been nice. So just getting the credits. Daily cast is good. This deck also is running Blue Moose, which is incredibly strong. Uh -huh. um, there's a lot of like, there's some decent draw in these decks. A lot of draw events. A lot of events that you have no interest in recurring. Even the value of things like Sure Gamble, making yep. two more credits on it. It's it's you can't really understate how good of a card Blue Moose is. I'm not sure this is a great play on Eric's end here because um, unless he's planning. Nobody oh, has to, a soul set. Yes. That actually can be good. Oh well. So the thing is, like, if Dean. Oh no, he has a soul set. Never yeah, mind. He does yeah, have yeah, soul my set. apologies, my apologies. Yeah. So now it's actually a really big deal. Dean, if there's certain cards that Dean needs on the table, he might want to protect them with ice. And it's not like he's running a lot of ice, but if you need to uh, keep that Byroid work crew, if you need to keep that Jeeves, you might actually need to ice those cards up. Because mm -hmm. at least once a turn with a bad pub, something is definitely going to be late in the game. And those cards represent your win conditions. And your, your windows of your opportunities, the things that your deck can accomplish, are slowly going to be shrinking on you. Apart from Moon, of course, what is the most important asset to have up and running on the board? Have up and running for the core? Mm -hmm. uh, I think Clone Starfish movement is very, very strong. That's Indeed. now a oh, free yeah. remove Nats, from yep, game, because yep. you need to keep getting that back. Uh, even just losing your, um, you like, it doesn't seem impactful, but losing your daily business show loses a lot of the power of the deck. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jackson also is a very interesting threat. If you run Jackson, do you pop it just to get back a best defense? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, uh, well, moons, it's maybe you leave the moons because of clone, but yeah. I don't know. Would you shuffle the friends back in, or would you leave it for uh, suffrage movement? Uh, I think you might not be able to rely on suffrage movement anymore in this game. Yes. Uh, I actually don't know how much value you'll get from that from that uh, friends in high places if this all set does keep rolling, if the Desperado comes up, if you can't threaten them with a scoring remote. Because if you build a scoring remote at this point, they might want to go for it and not trash your other assets. Um, you can kind of fork the runner in a re some really strong ways. And that vanilla actually is going to be relatively good. Yeah, Weak vanilla to Parasite, but... Yeah, it's going to impede Eric fairly confidently for at least a little bit here. We're going to put down a suffrage movement. And that ice, mind you, sorry, that asset can't really be iced up. It doesn't work. Yeah, it, it is. does not. Yeah. It's, it's well, really, you could ice it, I suppose. You could ice it, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. I'll get that run there. Uh -huh. And Eric is actually looking all right. Eric's tokens look nice. Do you share where you bought it? I'm actually not sure. We'll ask him uh, after, we can the ask him after the match. So he's actually all sorts of denominations, and he doesn't have any card draw up, so he's going to be manually drawing. He did just top deck a medium. A lot of good value if you're trashing cards with the medium, seeing more cards with the bad pub. Mm -hmm. You can dig really deep. You could dig and deep. And is Dean running a Cyberdex Fire Suite? Uh, no. No, he isn't. Wow. That's a strong yeah, medium. Yeah, that's right? a strong medium. 
So uh, we knew where that was. That is Austerity, the first of two in the deck. Mm -hmm. And whether Eric is going to remove it from the game is an interesting decision. Uh, he knows what that card is. Whether that means you want to run it first or want to run it last, I, I'd argue that maybe running last could be better because if he finds yes. a CSM in that other server, if he is going to continue to run, that one's going to stay in the game if he chooses to trash it. Mm -hmm. and that can be an issue. Two whites also in hand. He does have the Fairchild, so that um, that might be the good time to kill that thing. Oh, he actually didn't remove it from the game. Nope. He decided to toss it in archives. This Bax is going to get tossed, though. Bax looks like it's going to go out to space yep. with its friend, um, mm -hmm. so the money is going to be uh, slowing down a fair bit. Uh, now Friends is probably going to be a yeah. negative tempo play in some ways. Yeah, indeed, because you're actually not making your money right back. No, yeah. if you have Estelle, it's obviously different, but... Yeah, those turtles are not coming back. Yeah. yeah. Neither is that Amakua, unless, uh, of course, we see... Saw turtles yeah. all day. Yeah. I think uh, he has Deja Vu, actually. There's actually, a chance and a retrieval back. run. Oh, no way. Yeah, one. Oh, wow, one retrieval run. That's okay. good tech. Yeah, cool. And he finds a CSM. Very nice. Um, that yeah. would have actually brought back a clones. Uh, sorry, a, a fr a friends. Friend. Yeah. So that's a really good hit. Again, we're trashing a lot of these things for free, yeah, if not incredibly cheap. I really like where Two Bad Pub is taking Eric. Two Bad Pub is taking them in a really good space. Mm -hmm. And we d did bury a Vitruvius. Uh, mind you, Dean isn't going for the successful field tests. I believe he's an ABT guy. Yeah, he's going on accelerated beta test Vitruvius. So mm -hmm. his agendas are a bit easier to score. All you need is a biotic and six more credits, generally. Uh, and you're good to go, and we're going to keep throwing those cards down. And that Jackson also might be worth running it. That's an ice. Mm -hmm. That ice could be a vanilla. It's it could actually, also be fair child. No, I yeah. think it's a fair child. We yeah. see the vanilla in it. Yeah, yeah, you so could fully hit the res on that. Whether or not you want to sink your entire turn, you might actually have to respect the architect. Yes, that's true. So I don't know if you can actually fair, face check at this point. You could slam the medium. Oh, there it is, yeah, and he's going to town. And going to town is going to put him in a really bad spot financially if he's not making credits. Like with the Desperado, with the that's Desperado, a really that would have been nice, play. yes, for sure. With any, with any other incidental uh, generation of value. Hmm. We can get some singles here. Don't see what those are. Even an Aeneas, something like that would Coming be really again. sweet. I think we see an architect in there. Coming again. And that's his whole turn, which is a sacrifice of tempo. Oh, taking the ABT at least. Now, interestingly enough, having the daily business show on the table is going to make the medium a lot stronger. Yes. Sure, it might make you able to find an uh, ice, ice for your yep. server, but mind you now, when he is top decking agendas, or when he's drawing agendas at the beginning of his turn, he's drawing two. So yes. the medium's going to see deeper. Yep. And you really got the One deeper that. turn, yep. Uh, or more if you're triggering a daily business show on the end of the runner's turn as well. Yeah. And we did see an architect there. It's an architect yep. and uh, a friend. So yep. I imagine the architect has to go straight in R&D. Yep. And it's going to end Eric's uh, four rays there for now. Yeah. Now two credits and two bad pub. Two credits doesn't seem like a lot. It probably isn't that much. No, but with really. Two but with pub, two bad pub, it's it, more it than goes it looks. a lot further when controlling the board. Indeed. So this architect going R and D. Does that stop him from scoring an agenda in a remote? I'm not sure. But there's the Jeeves, which is okay. going to give him a yep, bit more flexibility. Gonna, yep, yep, yep. So it might actually be a triple install turn. Makes a lot of sense. And he does have three cards installed. The vanilla is good too. And remind you, he doesn't have a Cyberdex Fire Suite. So if he needs to deal with that medium, it's either ice it up beyond uh, any sort of saving or purge. Or purge. And uh, not purging, purging is, is hard. not. It, it's a bit easier with Jeeves, but it's not. It's not good tempo. Yeah, especially against a deck that generates value uh, as well as Eric's does yeah. on good runs. Now we have an Estelle, iced up behind a Fairchild. Uh, the problem right now. Salsa doesn't deal with Estelle really well, because no. you'll almost never be able to touch it and trash it. Mm -hmm. Unless you play that Rumor Mill, that uh, Estelle is almost always going to fire, and you might actually need to run it now when it has not a lot of tokens on it, because it's only going to get worse, and you know that for sure. Mm -hmm. This is actually an interesting spot. This is the fairest, the most bad. This is a very fair game, actually. Yeah, so I like far. this a lot. But in order to get to that point, we needed to see two bad publicity in a salsa set yeah. slums. It's, those are the cards you need. And that, mm. mind you, that's all sets a one of. That's very mm. lucky. That, that is a good pull on his end, yeah. There's it's a Jackson. Jackson. He's deciding and actually, to if he reuse uses it. that, he has to pop the other one. I hope he remembers. That's oh, a unique shit. card. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, that's we have true. to be aware of that. A lot of people is. forget about that. Apologies, yep. I think they figured that out. So that means he has to pop the other Jackson first, or it will just be trashed. Whether we can go back in time and fix it, I'm not sure. Uh, it but like it, it, it looks table, like he's going to so. do it, so that's good. Yeah. So when Jackson in the bin, you can put that back. Um, it is not going to get that much value, I'll be honest. No, it's really. It's yeah. the operations yeah. you need back. It's, yeah, especially you don't want your R&D to be more porous than it is already. He is shuffling his deck, mind you. Uh, that does have some value with Daily Business Show, but I think these are all fresh cards with uh, medium anyways. Mm. So that's going to get the shuffle. That's one click down. Uh, that means he can't really contest that Estelle Moon, unless he's going to hit that uh, Fairchild. Fair yeah. 
Yep. Uh, which would be backbreaking for him, of course. Yeah, very, very bad. Mm. So he also knows, like, he has two pieces of advice, one on R&D, one on the Chiefs, and he's pretty sure one of those is the Architect. Mm. Uh, with only five credits, uh, face planning the Architect, while it is bad, that would put not a lot of money onto Dean's side, and he uh, might actually be able to capitalize well, on it. Well, he'd also get an extra moon counter on Oh, that's me. true, yeah, an extra install credit, so he'd probably end up, yeah, no, you can't do that, can you? And I think we just need to stabilize here a bit on Eric's side and keep the board down. Yep. Uh, some breakers seem very important at this point. It looks point. like he's drawing for some stuff. Uh, I might money up if I were him, but let's see what he's drawing for. He has a hacktivist. It's oh, very yeah. good. That is very good, of course. Oof. Very strong wow, card. how did we neglect that when looking at the hate? Hacktivist is a strong hate card. Very strong yeah, hate I, card. In fact, he's running the full complement. Three yes. hacktivists. Uh, and one rumor mill? Wow. I think it's one rumor mill, yeah. yeah. And that's also really good. It's kind of a hard thing to Four dig currents. for at this point. Yeah. And we're throwing something out there. I'm pretty sure that was actually an MK Ultra. Okay. I think we saw one heat break yeah. in there. Yeah, MK into heat. Whether or not he has to respect an arc lockdown, uh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. It looks like we're clarifying something here with Daily Business Show. I don't believe he drew that turn, so that should be okay. So yeah, Eric just needs money. Eric needs some breakers, some money. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly that, yeah. If he has... Um, I think he would be in a really strong position now if he had the Oma up from the beginning oh of the man, game. Oh man, that Oma would have been so good. Yeah, because now if he had the Oma... So exactly, good. it would have been excellent. Oh, free Oma Kua. Yeah, but of course, Dean had the best defense for it. Yeah, very good tech. Mm -hmm. Which uh -huh. was a good offense on his end. Let's see actually if I can listen to any of what's going on here. I think they might have missed the trigger here with Daily Business Show. I think so, yeah. And then uh, Shuffling? So they're shuffling, and I think they're leaving two cards on the bottom. I'm Any sure. information for us, Travis? What happened? I was here? actually going for it for Travis. Ah, okay. okay. I was trying to get Eric's archives on screen. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So we have a food in hand. Want, want oh, here comes Victor. And that's going to be buried. So the food's on the bottom of the deck, and it hasn't been shuffled in a bit. And our hand is just a lot of uh, a lot of biotic labors. You look at the next one, it's current daily business. Hey, one yeah. second, we're just clarifying that. Do you know what happened right there? Yeah, yes. so uh, Travis, would you like to give it if you oh, know? Of course, yeah. Um, so Dean has drawn an extra card uh, during the Daily Business Show. Okay. And so in order to amend that, they have shuffled his deck and returned the two cards with the other two cards. Is that a warning, do you know? We kept the first two cards. Okay. Yeah, and the third one was shuffled back. Okay. Uh, and was he warned for it? Probably. I assume so. Yeah, I would assume, I assume that's so, a warning. Yes. All right, fair enough. So you got to be careful with that sort of stuff. Um, drawing extra cards, it can be a huge deal. A lot of times if you draw an extra card at a point in the game where you could draw a card, that yes. click is just baked in. It's done. You yeah, just lost the click. And if you didn't have that click to spend, then... It's an issue. Indeed. So we did here have that... Um, uh, Dean spent most of his turn there drawing, so he's looking for something for sure. Uh, he did ice up with the... Uh, ice up a bit using the assembly lines, which gives him value with the moons. It gives him other value by just having credits. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't really have anything in hand to protect. This actually might be a bluff yep. uh, to draw attention onto HQ, because R&D right now is kind of where it's at. And Dean's getting some more money. Yeah, Dean has four of the seven ice in his deck installed. That's a lot of ice. Yeah. And uh, we see that Street Pillar. The Street Pillar actually has a Parasite on it. Oh, okay. interesting. I didn't see some of the other cards, but that Vanilla, if we do find it, will blow up. Yes. Um, I'm actually sure, is uh, Eric running a Data Sucker? Yes, he is running two. Data two. Suckers. So at some point, the Fairchild actually could be a threat. You're going to get more value if you do build up the Data Sucker tokens, because purging will look better and better with the medium. So you'll get more value also with the Jeeves. Purging isn't that bad if you can purge no. and then play friends. Purge and then play, yep. Of course, uh, <laughs> friends looking less and less likely to be up in space now with two turtlebacks gone. Uh, that that's strong. Like yeah. that that has uh, severely impeded Dean's development. Yeah, and that's going to slow him down. He yeah. has to ice his stuff up, play a different game. Mm -hmm. And actually, I was a bit incorrect. That's actually a black orchestra in the bin, not an MK Ultra. So that's the Code Gate Breaker. And it's looking like he's considering for the run. He's running archives, probably actually just to get a free install. I believe Chad is saying there might be actually a blue moose there. Yeah. And he's going to decide that's better. Also an MK Ultra. So now he's good to go. He has the credit economy. He and he's got the, the two of access. three. Yeah, he could actually, in theory, run yeah. R&D this turn. Uh, is he short maybe one he's credit? Short, he's short money, yeah. Because that's what, three to install, three to break? So he's, yeah, he's short uh, one credit. He could credit run R&D. I don't know how good that is. Can't mm -hmm. really trash things. But next turn, things also, are going to be Also, it would be backbreaking if he hit the Fairchild inadvertently. Yes. yes. Yeah, so I mean, he needs a little bit more money yeah. before he goes First off. First click probably is a good run. Yes. But so Eric is actually relatively set up. Just the medium itself, uh, being able to remove cards he sees from the play, see more cards, is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Dean actually, who already has put down four ice, is going to need some more of R&D if he doesn't have Cyberworks. For sure. 
And that's going to be an issue. And he can Biotic out. He can also draw through the medium with that Estelle if it doesn't get uh, addressed. Because mm -hmm. it has a lot of counters on that. Oh, there's a Purge. Purge install. Yep, there it is. Purge install with the Chiefs. Pretty good. Also, mind you, Rumor Mill does blank the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. That's some value, extra value oh, yeah, if you can find that. Pretty interesting how you can have three film critics, but there's only one of this type of robot available? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's like, I think it's the line. I think it's Jeeves <laughs> model Byroid. Sure. So, so it's, it's the actually, because he's uh, actually not a, a Byroid single. subtype. It's yeah, like you're right. Ah, uh, fair, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're selling the model. Mo mm, interesting. So, uh, Dean actually drew into a bunch of the bad pub, or sorry, a bunch into the agendas, excuse me. I think he saw a couple foods. One did get buried with uh, the, excuse me, with the Daily Business Show, but he does have one agenda in hand. He gets to install one card here, and that's going to be the ace on R&D that he knows he needs, mm -hmm. because Arc is pretty set up to be running. Yes. With the bad pub, that's a lot of value. Some cheap runs. Arc is great for one credit. Was, yeah, for one real credit is very good game. It's very, very strong. For uh, Chibu and Amakua, also mm -hmm. good. So that red pile there, you can see in the top right corner, that's the cards removed from the game. Eric does those, excuse me, he does those face down. So every turn, two credits off the top. Dean is running the blacklist. Whether he wants to defend that is actually really strong at this point mm -hmm. because a lot of Eric's breakers are in the bin. He yes. isn't respecting that in the way he should be. He's also drawing first click, so he might not want to be running for the rest of this turn. I think with too bad pub, you want to probably remove that daily business show from the game. Almost certainly. It's giving way too much uh, filter lot, draw. yes. And you can trash it for very little. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, I think he is just in the process of setting up. He might be waiting like one more turn before he really goes. Yeah, it's an archives interface. Oh, you that is an archives interface. Okay, well, yes, in fact, oh, it, it is. is. There. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, <laughs> Eric's handwriting is... Um, it's interesting. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's esoteric. Um, it's... Yeah, we did not see that he definitely has the archives. So this well. card actually Yeesh. gets a ton of value. Yeesh. Not only is it good with Amaku, which we don't have, not only is it good with Data Sucker, but removing cards from game like this is insane. Mm -hmm. And he's opting for the advanced assembly lines, which is a good card to recur. There's so much money in that. There's so much money the in the assembly lines. He has stabilized with economy, but it's, it's, he might actually have to high-step archives. Yeah. He might have to. Yeah. And again, if he had the Amaku, oh my god, the value. The again, value. yeah, yeah. I, but best defense. Yeah, best defense, huh? <laughs> Yeah, there. Uh, Dean has fairly savvily built his deck. Um, there are a lot of times that he could get you based off of a, an opportunistic res. Yes. Um, and Eric is not respecting those, as you can see. Guilty, guilty, guilty. And there's the still. It's going to be building up. Uh, two counters on that. I believe it was install, 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 mm -hmm. which gives an extra click. Uh, I guess he's drawing the last click. Generally a bad thing to do, but with uh, Jeeves, didn't really have a choice. And we're going to keep going. The train, the assembly train is going to build those hoppers. Mm -hmm. We're going to get more cards on There's the There's always money in the assembly lines. And that's a second daily business show, which you need to deal with those, because two of them even oh, better. Oh, yeah, two of them even better. Stack so they well. stack. They, they stack, stack somehow. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's a linear stack. It actually no. gets better the mm. more they are, like by a lot. Um, also, new card in the new remote. Don't know what that is. Clone suffrage movement is something you have to respect at this point. Even tech startup into blacklist could be an issue. But two bad pub. Soul set, scrubbers in the deck. I think Eric has a chance here. Looking pretty nice. Yeah, it's not looking He's just missing good. the card draw here, but and the money. But I mean, other than that, like his board is looking pretty well developed. In terms of card draw, he's actually not running too much outside of operations. Like I uh, don't believe oh, he has a There's a fair child. Bro, are we checking that server? Oh, yeah, to yes. get the spell. He has yes, to deal with that. He's got to do it, and he clicks through. So that's a whole turn wasted. You're going to make them draw a lot. Probably going to res that second daily business show to get the maximum filter. There it is. Uh, and there you go. You might as well go ahead and stack those, I guess. Mm hmm. And that is a huge tempo hit for the runner. You never really want to hit that um, Fairchild if you have an option, and that's just a lot of cards in there. What is that? How many tokens? Three, so he draws five. Five. Bins two. Three cards is exactly what you want. And you actually might want to take the time next turn before friends get played to run archives and remove that Estelle from the game. Because your salsa doesn't work on it, it's never going to be able to be accessed. Mm -hmm. And there's the there's text a text Oh, wow. Coming for the blackmail then. Could be or the blacklist. blacklist. Yep. Could also be uh, what's it called? Uh, MC Austerity behind a Fairchild. 3. Oh, that would be pretty good. Hit that up. Yeah, that's for sure. Good value. Yeah, yeah. And it's the blacklist. Yeah, it's the blacklist. That's an issue. Putting it in the server. You I... did not get your breakers out fast enough. You might yeah, yeah. pay for that. Uh, yeah. Dean understands how to fork the runner. Yep. In some really, really devious ways. He also might be focused on the blacklist based on the last game we saw on stream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a really strong blacklist play. That was an amazing blacklist for sure. Now, Dean also still isn't... He, ooh, a lot of agendas, too. Yeah. Um, Dean hasn't... Uh, started? 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm from chat. That's really good, VK. Yeah, he actually should have installed that. Uh, uh, he has a Black Orchestra, which he could install for free. He knew he wasn't going to use his credits to trash the cards. You can get them on the table with the bad pub for basically one credit. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a fair point. Yeah. It's a, you should be using your bad pub as much as you can. That's mm. a value running about. Another Stella is going off. So that blacklist not only is going to stop his breakers, but it's actually going to stop the money coming in from Blue Moose. Uh, you can't remove a card from your heap, so you can't remove it from the game. So that's a, that's basically all the economy Eric had going for him at this point. There's the last box. The last turtles is there, and mm -hmm. this is going to be a lot of value. This is a breaking point, I think, that Dean really needed to, where he mm -hmm. can kind of run away with it. And that's just the kind of tempo you hit when you hit a fair shot three. Your entire turn gone is yep. it's, it's huge. It's, it's significant. really, really yep. huge. And there's a lot of things that he has to deal with on the table all at once. You want to run that Estelle. You want to... Okay, that's a Hacktivist. It's that's a late, it's it's a a late Hacktivist, late. but it's, it's, still, it's still good. It's something. And with the filtered card draw, he probably doesn't actually have that many agendas in his hand. Yeah. Um, that does kind of suck, though, because uh, based on this setup from Dean, he is very well positioned to score next turn and just clear that Hacktivist good tease. Yeah, yeah, he is pretty... Even, like, what, Biotic Jeeves, he can score a 4-2. Yeah, exactly. Not like he that. has them, yeah, but he like, can get a Vitruvius yes. token, for sure. Uh -huh. Uh, he's also digging fairly deep in his deck with DBS and with Estelle Moon if he wants. Oh, yeah, if he wants to blast it. So we hit a Jackson here, and that shuffles Dean's deck. That's actually something that Dean might want to happen because we saw he was burying a lot of agendas with yes. those daily business yeah, shows. And now he's ready to take them back in. And that'll give him just in time where they can find them and score them out. Mm -hmm. It makes running on R&D better, but again, none of those breakers are coming back from the heap. That can be a really big deal. Jackson removed well, from game. No, he's he's re so we're removing oh. from the game for one credit. Okay. He didn't want to shuffle it soon. Yeah, that's... While it is nice to remove Jackson from the game, as they are doing on October 1st, um, this isn't necessary at this point. Like, the important cards are there and not Jackson. Yeah, and we actually do, if I'm not mistaken, have a film credit to deal with that uh, the Luxury Smart Fabrics. Uh, it's kind of hard to get value from if you're going to be discarding cards from hand just to get value out of it. Actually, his film critic is in the bin. Yeah. So it'll actually be might worth might be worth trashing for sure. But um, yeah, like at this point, do you think the run should have been just click through the Fairchild and grab the remove grab blacklist the from the game? Is I think 100 percent what you have to do. Your money is not going through. Yeah. Your breakers are not coming up. Dean yeah. could be stalled, scoring behind a paperclip or not a paperclip so much. Probably I don't know an architect. You can score behind. Sure. That. Yeah. 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 Um, Dean could go, but it looks like he's playing a little bit safer. So another install. Yeah. More Estelle. This is a score here. More value. Yeah, this is our... Dean's getting on the board here with Vitru. So yeah, this biotic. is... If he advances three times, he gets another click from the Chiefs. Yeah. And it looks like he's going to go all four on that. Vitruvius with the token makes the most sense, and that's such a good card, especially yep. when you're dealing with successful guilt. <laughs> wow, <a> terrible VM. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly yeah. Exactly that. That, that lets you play against uh, around Archives Interface, where he can pull the Biotic back to him before uh, Eric gets a chance to run Archives and yep, trash it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, only works once, though. But, only I mean, he does have to do that probably two more times in order to win the game. And there you go. I think Eric has learned what he has to do. Yep. He needs to get rid of that Blacklist. Bing, 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 bing. I mean, so much. The, ba the Blacklist gone means two additional credits for him to turn. He can just yes. go crazy off that moose. So it, this is good. He needs to do that in order to free his breakers as well. So, I mean, that's just what he would have done last turn. Should have done last turn. So Eric is no longer in as good of a spot as he was before. Yeah. But I still think he does have a win condition. If he has enough money, mind you, Dean has to be uh, protecting Archives because that medium is a very solid solid risk. Yep. That being said, we're drawing like 10 cards here. Yeah. Like we're going to be able to see. An we're going to see a lot of things. Double Eric kick two. It yeah. can be taxing. Yeah. Uh, Dean is comfortable on money, so I believe he can go and just stack. Uh, I, I definitely turn. think this is an ice up turn. Yeah. Like, I, this is the only way he loses the game if Eric gets uh, lucky on some opportunistic accesses. So. so, mind you, Dean actually isn't running a work crew. So, if he wants to score out a food, he's going to have oh. to need Jeeves and double biotic, I believe. Yes. So he doesn't have the work crew, a very strong card to be able to uh, to recur. Mm -hmm. He actually could feel safe and try and find two of the same agendas and install like a uh, global food naked on the table as long as he has enough Lakshmi counters. Mm -hmm. None of his ice is rezzed also, so it can be easy to get Lakshmi counters in some ways. And that's uh, a naked agenda. Yeah, I think looks... he's going to go for the safe Vitruvius play or just actually score that one out and get another token probably. Bang, bang. And I think next turn he can win. Yes. Double biotic food. Double biotic food. You can also uh, with one check biotic, his you can do it. Bing, bing. Yep. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Because you play biotic, Vitruvius biotic. You can play a third biotic, perhaps if you want. Yeah. And uh, Eric has this one turn to stop this. I don't even know if he can. He has to get that. He has to get the food. Mm. He has to get that food this turn. 
And he has to get food off the top of our Things top are looking of very hard. Yeah, things are looking very hard for him. Is there any way to stop this? Uh, Trashing the Jeeps Sort of. Well, I mean, he's going to make two credits first, uh, right off the, off the jump here. Mm -hmm. and so he'll have five to start, but I'm not sure there is. So he's going to go for the Jeeps. He's worried. There's Vanilla. He'll bounce. It's a wing condition. Uh, he doesn't have the paperclip in his heap, which he could be installing for incredibly yeah. cheap. So no Parasite in sight either. No, unfortunate. Um, Arguably, Amakua would have won in this game if he had kept it on disabled. Uh, Best, Best defense. defense. So yeah. Good. And now we're doing second click into HQ. There's a chance to hit the food and actually keep him out of the game for a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, stealing the food is really good. You can actually go ahead and use all those uh, Vitruvius tokens to grab operations to pull them in hand. Just yeah, to, for sure. To, just to, to kind to, of uh, hurry it. Yep. Once it exits, ouch. Can't click through that. Sorry. Can probably get through some of it. He actually. Well, yeah, well, he'll pay for one sub, of course. Yeah, you and can then, use a bad pub on this too. Yeah. So this is either trash two cards. Uh, trashing the medium to save three credits. Sure. And trashing the Arcus Arcus to save three credits. Yeah. No, he's retaining that. Is set gone? Ugh. Sol set gone is Ouch. really rough. And then ending the run. Yeah, he, uh, Dean has a choice between the brain damage and then the run. Uh, brain damage seems to not be very useful right now. Yeah. But Eric's actually considering this. I'm not sure if these are the right cards he wants to get rid of. Okay, so he's thinking about it. It looks like everything with the word remove from game is going to be re <laughs> well, removed. Yeah, trash. Uh, eventually, yeah, that's a boost. Maybe, if, if there's another turn, of course. But it, it, this looks like GG. This is likely GG. Actually, does he have enough money now? I think that Fairchild Res might have been an issue. Uh, yeah, and there's no way he can incidentally make money between turn to turn at the moment. Uh, unless we did, we forgot what his other face down remote is, or his only face down remote is. His only face down remote, I'm not actually sure if we know what that is. Mm. Uh, Eric also could have used some of his bad pub on one of those triggers. He instead decided to trash cards. He instead uh, decided to trash maybe cards. Maybe that means that he needs his credits for this run, that he wants to go R&D and get some things coming up. Sure. And it looks I, like he's going like like to go hit, jump yeah. over there. And again, medium's really good with the... Uh, Ouch. Like oh my god. Yeah, the, those are those childs. Not Ouch. exactly what I would call fair. And then <laughs> there... So he's losing a medium. Uh, actually, he's not losing his bad pub. I think he forgot about that. Oh, yeah. So he's just gonna get rid of his real credits. Aye, okay. Never good. And nah, he's he, uh, he seems like he's been rustled here. Yeah. Yep. Uh, on the table, it's a Lakshmi, I believe. Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. So the Lakshmi does have some value, but you need multiples of agendas, and it's not that hard to find them. Yep. Uh, actually, for what it's worth, I think Dean should have probably res the Lakshmi just to get two counters on it if he wants to win through that with another food in his hand right now. Sure. It's yeah, that very, would totally be very a very easy good to play. Do yep. And perhaps even you can just... Oh, he doesn't have enough money regardless. No, I mean, yeah, you, you jam it behind the Fairchild, but you get four this turn and you pass, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, gain four. Hey, that's a slightly... Oh, no, harder three. To oh, okay. Oh, and then friends. friends. Uh, okay. Are there any advanced assembly lines left? Uh, most definitely. I don't think anything's been removed from the oh, game. Oh, yeah, there's one. And you can even do Estelle if you want to be greedy. I think Estelle in that remote is probably just Oh, good. there's no... Or, it's actually, just two probably lines. Enough yeah, money to yeah, win the game. Good line of play. Uh, <laughs> well... Yeah, this is just it, right? Um, resing one will give him two. Resing the other will give him... Yep. There we go. Okay. We have the helpful hands of uh, Victor. <laughs> just throwing credits. Okay. And so much money does he need? Yeah. He needs to double Biotic and advance five times. So we're talking uh, four for the advance with a free credit and then another eight. So we're, we need about 12 credits, Yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And we're a bit short of that. You get one more for an install. Uh, I like the line of play you proposed, actually, where resing the sh uh, smart fabric sort of like I think resing the smart fabric at the fair child right yeah. would have been line nice. Things, yeah, you, have you would have actually had enough to protect yeah. it one time. Yeah. So the food in HQ is not that safe either. Mm -hmm. If you have the Lakshmi, it's actually good. You can show the food and protect it off of R&D. You can protect it from HQ. Yes. So the food is kind of vulnerable. He's uh, he's pretty behind on material, and I, I think this is a common story of all the Moons matches we've watched so far, where it looks dire at the beginning, yeah, but then they, they just recover so much so good well. And a click through if he finds the foods. No, oh. he misses, hits the architect. Hits the architect, so we have one turn here. I still believe that Dean's actually a couple credits short, unless he can throw down another... Uh, Not making a server, gaining a credit. Yep. Okay. Two credits, sorry. Yeah, he's installing as well. That's uh, engineering oh, yeah. the future's ability. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He has just enough credits. I believe he can double Bionic after the win. Okay. And he's taking his sweet ass time about it. Yeah, let's we're not be mistaken here. Install oh. into one Bionic body five advance. I think you're good. Does he see it? Oh, we're doing a count here. Yeah, we're doing a count. I think he probably sees it. Yeah. So install into a new remote. Oh, it gives you two more credits. Yes, I forgot if you, yeah, it's, it's so, new yeah, remote. I think yeah. he's definitely comfortable here. Mm. Oh yeah, Dean also at 100% should have used the tokens there. 
with the, the Trivius to draw up more, and mm. I think we're just going to do it out here. So that's install, gets two credits, a single biotic. You can play as many times as you want, three times, and we know yep. that's a food on the table. And it looks like Dean is going to go on to face against Josh again. Oh, wow. The run back.